Welcome to Mojitok, episode 10, the worst podcast on the internet. Today is a special episode because it is Mojitok the game. We are playing with two contestants. One is Rhys, the admin from Shitpostbot that was already here for episode 2 of the podcast. And the other one is a newcomer here, Giles, who is an uh, independent Australian artist which I've been working with for quite a long time. He designed my logo, for example. And uh, yeah, if you if you boys want to introduce yourselves a little more, you, you can do that now. Yeah, I'm the shitpost bot guy. Uh, if you don't know more, then I, I yep. talk a lot in episode two. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I I started out by doing some fan art for for uh, exploding fish, and then did it more professionally, I guess. Well, uh, so the principle of the game is very simple. I'm going to give you a series of four facts, and out of these facts, three are real or true facts, and one of them is fake. You got to guess which one is the fake one. If you if you guess right, you get a point. If you don't guess right, you get nothing. And the one at the end of the game that has the more points wins, uh, you know, glory, because uh, it's a Excellent. game that where we play just for fun. So let's start with the first series. Let's go now. So fact number one. The electric chair was invented by a dentist. Fact number two. There are more tigers privately owned in the state of Texas than there are tigers in the wild in the whole world. Fact number three. All polar bears are left-handed. Fact number four. A sealed jar of honey never spoils and may virtually last forever. So, are we pointing out the fake fact? Yep. Out of these four facts, one is fake. The three others are true. You can discuss, you can ask me to say them again, you can, you know, take wild guesses. I, uh, mm -hmm. I'm, feeling, I'm feeling the tiger one. Okay. There's no way. I, I'd be shocked if that's not the case. What about you, Giles? I'm feeling, I'm feeling a polar bear thing. Okay. Uh, is that your uh, final answer? Yeah, lock it in. Yeah, lock it in. So that is one point for Giles. Yeah. Is indeed, <laughs> oh, man. the polar bears are not left-handed. They are actually ambidextrous. Whoa. So, yeah, there are a lot of private zoos in the state of Texas. And, oh, uh, yeah. and a lot of people who own tigers for uh, like a lot of rich people who own tigers on in their ranch, so that's why. Uh, why I was I... just like, I, yeah. when you just said privately owned, I just imagined in my head uh, just like regular Texans having like tigers in their backyard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but a lot of them are like the, um, the I don't know. I, I suppose you've read. Um, Oh, fuck my mic. I suppose you've read uh, Harry Potter and uh, they're like the, the father of uh, Draco Malfoy, you know? Uh, not that familiar with Harry Potter. I, I've okay. seen it all, but not well, that familiar. I hope some listeners will get the reference. Uh, <laughs> next, next, next. Number one. There is enough iron in the average human body to smelt a three inch, which is eight centimeters, nail. Number two, a sunburn is the result of your cells committing suicide because they realize your DNA has been mutated by radiation from the sun. Damn. Number three, there are more trees on Earth than there are stars in the Milky Way galaxy. Number four, penguins vomit when they are really happy. <laughs> so once again you can discuss you can ask a question you can ask me to say the facts again uh, I, I have a feeling I have a feeling there's like a gajillion stars in the Milky Way um, mm -hmm. so 
I think my answer to that was 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 the trees one. Okay, I'm putting it down. What about you, Riz? Uh, can you repeat them again? Yeah, sure. So, number one, there is enough iron in the average human body to smelt an eight centimeters long nail. Number two. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Number two, a sunburn is the result of your cells committing suicide because they realize your DNA has been mutated by the radiation from the sun. Number three, there are more trees on Earth than there are stars in the Milky Way galaxy. And four, penguins vomit when they are really happy. Yeah, I'm definitely going to go for the uh, go for the trees one as well. Okay, so both, you think that the, there are more stars in the Milky Way than there are trees on Earth? That's mm. the fake fact. Locking it in? Yeah. Yep. Okay, so you both get zero points. Oh. Well, there are three trillion trees on Earth, but, on, but only about 250 billion stars in the Milky Way. So there are 10 times oh, more only. trees on Earth, even if... The Milky Way has a lot of stars, tree, uh, Earth has more trees. The fake one was about penguins. They don't <laughs> vomit when they are, are happy. Uh, when, I, when, <laughs> when I first made up this fact, uh, uh, the first draft was that they, they piss and shit all over the place. But then I, <laughs> I tried to make it more re- believable. I was inspired to write this uh, because some animals I have weird uh, reactions to happiness. Dogs mm-hmm. sneeze when they're really happy, and gorillas burp, but penguins do not vomit. Mm. So you both get zero points. Let's go to um, the next list. I'm truly shocked by that, by there being more trees than stars in the Milky Way. Yeah, so yeah. that's freaking me out. I was pretty surprised too, yeah. But, uh, yeah. The Milky Way is only one galaxy. Of course, in space, there Mm. are basically almost an infinity number of stars. But, um, yeah. It is still pretty big. uh, 250 billion is not a small number. It's not an easy job to count count that (laughs) many stars either. (laughs) Yeah, it's... It's basically an estimate, but it's uh, yeah, with, yeah. With, with modern astronomy, we, we can come pretty close and it's pretty, uh, you know, yeah. r- reliable. So, next list. All right. Let's go. So, after the success of uh, the movie Finding Nemo, so many people bought wild clownfishes that the species went extinct. <laughs> Fact number two. Sweat is actually odorless when it comes out of you, but when the bacteria on your skin eat it, and the characteristic sweat smell is the byproduct of their digestion. Number three, snails can sleep for up to three years. Oh. Number four, there were sharks in the oceans before there were trees on Earth. This is tough. Yeah, it is tough. They all seem real. Thanks. Uh, I've I've done my job pretty well. (laughs) mm, mm. You may have to go through them again, I think. Sure, no problem. So, number one. After the success of the movie Finding Nemo, so many people bought wild clownfishes that the species went extinct. Number two. Sweat is actually odorless when it comes out of your body, but then the bacteria on your skin eat it, and the characteristic sweat smell is the byproduct of their digestion. Number three, snails can sleep for up to three years. And number four, there were sharks in the oceans before there were trees on Earth. I reckon I'm going to go with... Nemo, gonna go with the extinction of the clownfish. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go for the shark one. Okay, so that is 
1.4 Giles, <laughs> oh who my. is sitting at two points versus Reese zero. Uh, it is actually partially true. The clownfish went extinct in some parts of Southeast Asia, especially around the Philippines, India, and Thailand. But it, the species is still well alive in other parts of the world. So it, it was a fake fact, you know, we but started in truth. Almost true, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I thought that was the case, but uh, I wasn't. I wasn't sure if uh, I didn't keep up with everything, and it did actually go extinct. But I just thought that like, there's no way that the the modern shark, like the same shark, could be around before <laughs> trees. Like, it, it has to be like a, a an ancestor, like a high up ancestor. It can't couldn't literally be a shark. But yeah, mm. I couldn't. I couldn't really um, answer exactly this, but um, I think that the, the hammerhead shark is one of the first species of shark, and it was around for uh, at the t at the time of the dinosaurs. Oh well. Oh yeah. Yep, yeah, that's um, the most. The most mind blowing to me is the the snails sleeping for three years. I gotta say, but. I thought you were. Yeah, I didn't think they one. even lived for three years. <laughs> yeah, they can. Uh, they can live for quite a long time. They they don't really get to do much with themselves, so I can imagine sleeping. If if they dream, that's totally a better deal. Huh? I wonder if they do. I don't know if they mm. even have a brain actually. <laughs> so next uh, list when you're ready. Yep. Yeah. So. Number one, there are more microbes in your body than there are humans on the planet. Number two, the three stripes on the Adidas logo represent the three sports the company originally made clothing for, basketball, tennis, and running. Number three, snow monkeys in Japan keep deer as pets and they ride them around. <laughs> Number four, people who are allergic to cockroaches are also allergic to coffee grounds. <laughs> uh, I wonder if the added ass one. Excuse me, what? The sports one, second one. Okay. What about uh, um, you, Giles? Uh, tell me, tell me, like a base, the basic gist of all four. You don't have to read them all out, but um. Just like... uh, so first one, more microbes in your body than there uh, are yep, humans yep, yep. on the planet. Number two, the three stripes uh, of Adidas were originally <laughs> made for the three three sports they make clothing for. Uh, number three, snow monkeys in Japan keep deer as pets. Uh, I hope that's number true. Number four, people who are allergic to cockroaches are also allergic to coffee grounds. Uh, I'm going to go with the cockroach one. Okay, so that is 1.4 Reese. Ooh. So it's now 2 for Giles, 1 for Reese. Uh, and uh, yeah, uh, the three stripes uh, on the Adidas logo at, at the origin was just stripes of cloth used to make the shoes uh, more sturdy and, uh, you know, last longer. And th they evolved into a logo much later. They don't have any special specific signification. Mm. And, um, yeah, they're... Um, so, hmm. so those monkeys ride deer around? Yeah, yeah, in, uh, <laughs> that in is Japan. Just excellent. The snow monkeys. They, they uh, keep deer as pets, they ride them around, and the, the deer are absolutely fine with it. Uh, <laughs> and, um, yeah. I'm Next. happy about that. Uh, yeah, 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 it's a pretty cool fact. Next uh, list. Uh, you ready? Yeah. Yep. Let's go. Number one. Medieval Europeans did not believe, oh, excuse me, did not believe Earth was flat. Scholars have known the Earth is spherical since at least 500 BCE. This myth was created in the 17th century by Protestants to argue against Catholic teachings. Number two, a jellyfish is 95% water. 
Number three. In the 17th century, in the Ottoman Empire, now known as Turkey, drinking coffee was a crime punishable by death. And number four. 23% of all photocopier faults worldwide are caused by people sitting on them and photocopying their butts. <laughs> hmm. I have a feeling the uh, I have a feeling the flat earth one is like half true. It's like mm -hmm. not um Okay. I think I think um I read somewhere that that people did think the earth was around for a really long time and then just like made up the whole flat earth thing. Um I'm gonna go with it. I'm gonna go with that. The flat earth. Well, okay. I'm what just wondering where you I'm gonna I'm just wondering where you're chucking cheeky little details in. Yeah. And uh I, I I I just feel the uh I feel the jellyfish, honestly. Okay. <laughs> it's ninety two percent water. <laughs> yeah, or ninety seven. <laughs> so uh your final answers? You're locking that in? Yeah, yeah, I'm locking in jellyfish. That is uh, zero points for you boys. It was oh. the photocopier one that is absolutely, <laughs> absolutely made up. Uh, the other ones are true. Do you have any facts about um, people who break photocopiers photocopying their ass? Uh, no, sorry, but I I'll try to find one for next time. <laughs> Thank you. Right, thank you. Um, so... We go to the next list, or you want to discuss the facts? Um, what was the the one that we haven't mentioned? The uh, one in the seventh century in the Ottoman Empire. Oh yeah, drinking coffee was a crime punishable by death. Mm, is that true? Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah, there was a, there was a. It was created by a, a sultan, uh, who also made uh, alcohol and I think sugar illegal. That's bizarre. That should come back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was only the case for like 50 years, though. It didn't last long. But, uh, that's a, that's the, a fair while, though. At some, at some point, the Sultan was so keen on it that uh, he was like roaming the streets of the capital of the empire with his scimitar and literally cutting the heads of people who he saw eating, uh, drinking coffee himself. <laughs> No trial, right on the spot. <laughs> yeah, it was deemed as, as pretty extreme by his successors, but a lot of, uh, a lot of laws around the world uh, started in, around that time against the consumption of coffee that was deemed seditious. And uh, a lot of people say that it, ma people, it made people uh, do, um, you know, um, sarcastic poetry that mocked the kings and uh, <laughs> also uh, start, you know, to plot against the governments. So, um, yeah, a lot of people, uh, a lot of governments hated coffee at first. But then they started drinking it and now we all do. Mm. So, next uh, list. Yeah, I'm, ready. Uh, I'm ready. Okay, yeah. so... Number one, the chainsaw was originally invented as a surgical instrument. It was used to cut bones many, many years before it was used to cut trees. Hmm. Number two, the planet Uranus was originally named George. <laughs> Number three, the phrase rule of thumb is derived from an old English law which stated that you could not beat your wife with anything wider than your thumb. Number four, the first electric car was invented in 1891 in Iowa and it had a max speed of 65 miles per hour, that is 105 kilometers per hour. Mm. Uh, that's tricky. Uh, can you repeat them, or at least yeah. the the gist sure. of them? 
So the first, the chainsaw was originally invented as a surgical instrument. Number two, the planet Uranus was originally named George. Number three, the phrase rule of thumb originates from an old English law which stated that you couldn't beat your wife with anything wider than your thumb. And number four, the first electric car was invented in 1891 in uh, Iowa, the United States, and it had a max speed of 105 kilometers per hour. Uh, I'm going to go with uh, Uranus being named George. Okay. I'm going to go for electric car. Okay. So, you were locking that in? Final answers? Yep. Yeah. And that is a grand total of zero points for both oh of you. God. The fake one is the rule of thumb. It's a popular <laughs> myth. Uh, that yeah, he's is, heard that one before. I've heard yeah, that one before. It, it was made up uh, in the 19th century, but it is absolutely fake. It has been debunked many times since and yes the planet uranus was originally named george for 80 years before they settled on naming it uranus <laughs> god um, it was in honor to king george of um austria hungary i think K king george something and um yeah the electric car was first invented in 1891 uh but the reason it didn't um uh, you know, take off was because the battery life was abysmal. Yeah, makes sense. So, next list? Yep. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. Number one. Eating carrots every day can improve your eyesight by about 15%. Number two. Cockroaches are as disgusted of us as we are of them, perhaps even more. They will always do their best to <laughs> avoid humans. Number three. Most almond extracts and flavorings you see as ingredients in food products are actually made from the kernels of peach and apricot pits. And number four. The patent for the fire hydrant was lost in a fire. <laughs> You've chosen particularly like absurd. Yeah, fact. it's good. Well, yeah, <laughs> thanks. Uh, I'm gonna go for number three about almonds. Okay. Um, I'll, uh, can you give me the first two again? Sure. The first was eating carrots every day can improve your mm. eyesight by about 15%, and the second one was cockroaches are as disgusted of us as we are of them, that we are always try to avoid humans. I, I'm gonna go with the carrot one, I think that's like uh, English propaganda or something like that. Yeah, so, that, probably, that probably is right, but I'm gonna stick with mine. Okay, yes. your, uh, your final answers then, locking, the, locking those in? Lock it yep. in. Okay, so that is one point for Giles. Yes. Yeah, I should have my answer. You were pretty close. It was actually American propaganda. American. Uh, during World War II, they uh, kept shooting German Nazi planes because they had invented a brand new thing called radar. And they uh. didn't want the Germans to know about that invention, so they made up the myth about the pilots, eat you know, eating a lot of carrots to improve their eyesight to cover up the invention of radar. And yes, almonds, uh, you know, when it's uh, syn uh, synthetic almond flavoring, it can be made uh, of, by, it can be made of real almonds, it can be made of purely synthetic chemi chemicals, but most <coughs> of the time it is uh, peach or apricot pits. Peach, apricots and almonds are actually part of the same family, and it, uh, it seems that they're all de uh, descending from roses. Oh. They're all no. part of the rose family. It's a whole area of stuff I don't know about. Yeah, well. You already know about robots. Pretty <laughs> good. We can't we can't all be, you know, omniscient. 
you know, I I looked mo- most of these facts up uh, on the internet. I didn't had them in mind. So next, yeah, you ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so the philosopher Plato was not named Plato. It was his nickname. It means broad or swole, I was what the kids would say now. A lot of experts actually believe he won many debates, not because of his philosophical prowess, but because of his intimidating body. His adversaries were afraid that he would physically fight them. Number two. Giraffes' long necks are not useful to get better food. The leaves near the bottom of trees are actually more nutritious than the ones on top. They aren't really useful either to see predators from afar. Giraffes basically only use their necks to fight. Number three. The longest recorded time between two twins being born is 87 days. Whoa. And number four, in South Korea, it is illegal to sneeze in public without covering your mouth due to fears of pandemic raised since the avian flu. Repeat offenders could even be jailed. All right. Uh, I'm going for the giraffe one. Excuse me? Giraffe. Oh, okay. Um, uh, quick, quick rundown, please. Uh... Yeah, sure. Number one, Plato was his nickname. He was really muscular and uh, he won a lot of debates because his adversaries was were afraid he would fight them. <laughs> Number two, giraffes' long necks are not useful for food reasons or for spotting predators. They're only used, they're mainly used to fight. Number three, the longest recorded time between two twins being born, 87 days. Yeah. And number yeah. four, and number four in South Korea, it is illegal to sneeze in public without covering your mouth due to uh, fear of epidemics. You know, and uh, if you are a repeat offender, you could even land in jail. I wonder if um, I wonder if Joe Rogan wins a lot of debates. <laughs> um, let's see. I'm gonna go with the um the twins. Okay. Yeah, 88 days. Yeah, 87. Same. 86 days. 86 days would be believable, but 87 is just pushing it. (laughs) Oh, yeah, lock it in. Yeah, I'm locked in. Okay, so um, Giles said the giraffes and Reese said the twins. That's right? Nope. Absolutely not. Other way around? I'm sick with my way around. I'm giraffe. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. So, uh, it's the same because you both get zero points. It oh, was dude. the South Giraffes Korea s- sneeze scare that I completely made up. Oh, my giraffes are so dumb. I was inspired because <laughs> they are afraid of uh, leaving their fans on at night. And uh, in South Korea, it is widely believed that leaving your fan on at night could kill you. Uh, because yeah. uh, it would like get the air out of your body or something like that. <laughs> they will have you know um, timers on their fans to automatically cut them off at night. Uh, wow! But yeah, a lot of things are illegal in South Korea, like tattoos or uh, stuff like that. But not sneezing without covering your mouth. I, I'm and, I'm in Malaysia yeah. at the moment, and it's it's really hot all the way through the night, and not having a fan on is just not an option. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I guess you could you could have AC instead, but yeah, yeah, That's expensive have stuff. Or just sleep in front of your fridge. <laughs> yeah, sleep in the fridge with a little <laughs> hole in the door or something. <laughs> but yeah, the longest recorded time between two twins being born is eighty-seven days. Um, uh, it was actually quite uh, recent. I think it was in twenty thirteen. And what happened is that one of the twins uh, had a premature birth and the other one uh, was born at the at the right time, three months later. Uh, after the birth of the first twin, uh, the contractions on the mother stopped. They tr- the doctors tried to uh, induce them again, but they couldn't. And so the second twin uh, was born at the normal time. 
and uh, that is not the only time it happens but uh, usually it's like a, around one month of difference is not that rare right and it has been recorded for a very long time and uh, yes giraffes mostly use their necks <laughs> to fight uh, which you would know if you watched my channel because I've made a video on this a year ago <laughs> Just kidding. But, um, I, I mean, I, I actually did, but, uh, you know. And, um, yeah, 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 yeah. The leaves at the bottom of the trees are more nutritious than the ones on top. And that's what they eat most of the time. Actually, most of what, uh, most of the plants that giraffes eat are on the ground, not tree leaves. Yeah, right. Hey, I got one last list. And right, uh, it will it. be time to wrap up. So, last set of facts. Hold on to your knickers. <laughs> uh, so, num number one. It is quite common for police forces around the world to use dogs in some of, them, on some of their units, like bomb-sniffing dogs or drug-sniffing dogs. But in China, they also use geese. China has police geese. Number two, <laughs> dueling. Dueling is legal in Paraguay as long as both parties are registered blood donors. Number three, experiments show that male rhesus macaques, monkeys, will pay to look at pictures of female rhesus macaques' bottoms. <laughs> and number four, in Western Australia, it is illegal to own more than 50 kilograms of potatoes. Wow. I have not a clue, and I'm from Australia, so... Yeah, same. I can repeat the list again if you want. I, I've been to Western Australia, and I, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. 50 kilograms is quite a, quite a lot. Yeah, so it is. It's pretty rare to have that in your house, <laughs> I guess. No, I definitely didn't cart it over on the plane. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go with the geese. Uh, it, okay. And if, and if it's not, and if it is true, then definitely need some backstory on that one. Okay. Uh, yeah. Can you repeat? Like, yeah. Can you give me the gist again? Yeah. Sure. Uh, so, number one, it is quite common uh, for, no, uh, I mean, yeah, uh, in China they have police geese, so that, that's the number one. Number two, uh, it is legal to duel in Paraguay as long as both parties are registered blood donors. Number three, experiments show that male macaques will pay to look at picture of female macaques' bottoms. And number four, in Western Australia, it is illegal to own more than 50 kilograms of potatoes. Want to go potatoes? Okay. So, Reese, potatoes, and geese for Giles. Is that it? Yes. Yep. Locking it in. And you boys both get zero points. It <laughs> was the dueling in Paraguay that is I was absolutely gonna pick fake. That. I was going to pick that. Well, you still would have lost, but uh, with a le with a lesser margin, and um, yeah, so uh, yeah, I got, I got flattened. <laughs> well, it's three one, so it's not that much. It's not like you know a horrible defeat. You still had one point, and it's um, not like Brazil to Germany, if you remember that. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So uh, the police geese in China yeah. are, often, are often used as uh, alarms, as they are really loud and they tend to make a lot of noise when they see uh, something uh, suspicious. So the, they're trained to uh, make noise uh, to to uh, alert of uh, intrusions, yeah, or right. stuff like that. And uh, the police are are using them because uh, because they're loud, basically. I, I had this feeling that maybe they were used to like test landmines or something, but um, <laughs> yeah, alarms, that's a better outcome. Yeah. In uh, Africa, they have uh, rats, 
that are trained to sniff landmines. They are oh, too yeah. lightweight. They are too light in weight to uh, trigger oh, yeah, them, yeah, yeah, yeah. but they can still detect them thanks to their uh, powerful sense of smell. And um, yeah, the the resus macaque monkeys will pay. Uh, will give uh, give food and, and some of their drinks to see pictures of uh, female uh, bottoms and, and, and genitals and they will also pay to see the faces of the highest monkeys in the hierarchy regardless of sex <laughs> but they will refuse to look at the pictures of the monkeys at the bottom of their hierarchy unless they are paid with extra food wow, wow. So that was pretty interesting. And in Western Australia, due to trade laws, uh, it is illegal to own more than 50 kilograms of potatoes. And people from the Bureau of, um, of Potato Marketing can actually arrest you and search your car for potatoes if they suspect you to have too, too many of them. Man, shit's crazy over here. I bring forty nine and a half kilos of potatoes over at a time. <laughs> yeah, I wonder if they have they they are scale with them. And <laughs> <laughs> I'll make round trips from Sydney to Sydney to Western Australia, come back and forth, and resell them for more money. <laughs> potato meal. <laughs> yeah, it would it would be funnier if it was a, a number, so they uh, we have to count them. <laughs> one one. <laughs> I'd, I'd sticky tape them together and just say it's one potato. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah there was um th there was a reason because uh, uh Australia at some point imported too much potatoes from uh from uh abroad you know and uh the, the trade unions and the government wanted to uh put a stop on it because too, too much too much too many people uh hoarded them or something like it's a weird story i didn't understand all of it because uh, there was a lot of legal jargon uh, in it because it was from a from a australian legal site and so between the between the legal jargon and the australian slang i got completely lost but i i got the gist of it <laughs> and uh so yeah three one so it was a pretty good match it was pretty fun uh, it was supposed to I, w I thought we uh, would record for one hour, but it's only 40 minutes, a little less at uh, when the, I'm going to do the editing. Um, but that, that's cool. That's cool. It, uh, it's also good to... Uh, my podcasts are too fucking long, man. I Three three hours, it's 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 too much. I'm going to try for the, the upcoming ones to do two hours max. Because uh, yeah, I think myself, I don't... I think hopping out to an hour yeah. is a good time. Uh, two hours yeah. is a good time, Luke. I um I was doing podcasts weekly for uh, I did about fifty five episodes and and yeah, the, oh. the, I reckon per episode um we'd record for an hour, but there'd only be a good like twenty twenty five minutes of like actually entertaining material. Mm -hmm. I feel like the rest was just us trying to trying to say stuff. Um. Yeah, yeah. What well, I didn't know you you had a podcast. What uh, what what about what was it about? Um, it was called called Coprolalia, and it we tried oh. to actually not have. Oh, there it goes, Australia. <laughs> <laughs> you uh, you're a mic cut. I didn't hear you. Oh, okay. Um, it was called Coprolalia. Oh, okay. Which is Latin for shit speech. Yep. Yeah, and and we would usually not have a topic, and then just make it up as we just like come up with whatever was on our mind okay so same as mine basically okay <laughs> that's cool um yeah I, I, yours is the worst though on the internet <laughs> yeah it is <laughs> <laughs> so uh well i guess that will be it for today uh, do you have any last thing that you would, you would want to say maybe some uh, thing that you would want to plug or a question or whatever uh, like ship post five thousand on Facebook. <laughs> the, the, yeah, yeah. I've been a fan for a while. Of me or him or both? Uh, well, both really. But but um, uh, like ship post, but like four, like three or four years ago, I was liking it. Yeah. Hell yeah. I I love the one on the. Uh, on Instagram because it's like the the best uh, 
creations of the bot. They're... Yeah, it's it's better content on Insta. Do you, do you um, do you sort of curate it? Do you do you just let it post straight to the the uh, the site, or do you pick the ones that sort of make the most sense? Uh, pretty dangerously, I do not curate it. If I curated it, then yeah, it wouldn't nice. get taken down so much. Yeah. Well, I think it's more authentic if you just let it do its thing. Yeah, yeah, it is. I, I prefer it that way, because sometimes people are like, oh, yeah, this month was better than last month, even though it's <laughs> not. <laughs> hey. uh, people are, are like that. Oh, my God. It reminds uh, me uh, of the... It reminds me of the 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 the, uh, the painter uh, that did modern art uh, in uh, like uh, about a century ago, and uh, it was like an an anonymous painter. Nobody know who he was. Uh, it was in France, and um, and yeah, the critics and the journalists were uh, you know some some were really defending him, and some were really tearing him down, and there was a huge debate: is it good? Uh, is that art? good uh, is it bad uh, is he just another modern painter or what and uh, after a while um, of lots of debate and lots of lovers and lots of haters it was revealed that it was actually not a man but paintings done by the tail of a donkey <laughs> so so uh, all, all the people who saw meaning in it were like egg on their face and it's kind of the same situation, basically, you know? Yeah. It's, a, it's absolutely random, but people will say, oh, it was better before. To be fair, there is an element of curation in shitpost, but as the, that's how the site works. There's upvotes and downvotes and some... Uh, yeah, 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 true. Some, some stuff yeah. gets... Uh, I, I had a question, by the way, about that. Um, regarding the number of votes, is, this, is, it, is it just a binary situation with a yes or a no? Or, or do the templates and, and the stuff and the images that are more voted appear more often? Uh, I used to have an algorithm in for that, but uh -huh. uh, I eventually decided that uh, going by what people think of a certain template usually isn't the best way to go. Because okay. sometimes a template or source image might seem good or seem bad, but it'll end up being... Oh, yeah. Uh, good or bad i i kind of removed that and i'm i wanted to favor going by the amount of likes it receives on facebook like in practice instead um yeah because i feel like that'll be more logical but i haven't implemented that and i don't think i will considering i don't have much time to work on it anymore yeah okay mm. makes sense well, I think that will be it for today's uh, game by boys. And, uh, well... It was, good. it was good. It was like a hard fibbage kind yeah. of thing. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I learned a lot of stuff that I might not be able to use ever again. But <laughs> well, you know, we're all going to die, so all knowledge is ultimately useless. So <laughs> it's just... This one is just faster useless than some of their knowledge but you know i think i think giraffes are more useless than i used to so. <laughs> giraffes are dumb you know i think that's uh the the fact that so many adults don't really remember uh what uh, we learned at, at school is not really a sign of adults becoming dumber uh as they age it's just a sign of all the meaningless useless shit that we learn at school and yeah yeah so yeah. yeah, we'll we'll know so much. Like mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. Who uses that in daily life? Uh, <laughs> Some memes. scientists. Tumblr. Um, <laughs> yeah, people on Tumblr. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there was a there was a myth for a really long time that you could only get uh, mitochondria from your mother, and there was even a, a horror game called Parasite Eve on PlayStation that was made yeah, on, that. on this whole premise. And recently, it was debunked, and uh, it's mostly for from your mom, but you can get mitochondria from your dad. It's uh, like in ten percent of cases you get them from your dad, in ninety percent of cases you get them from your mom. Hmm. So yeah, that's um, that was the one last fact from uh, for for today's uh, episode. Uh, is it sure? Yeah, yeah, it is. <laughs> All right. 
<laughs> it was not a fake one, but yeah, it's a good idea. I'm gonna <laughs> end the thing with your fake facts. And also, all babies are born gay. <laughs> 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 they grow the organ which makes them straight <laughs> <laughs> so um it, it it may it may happen though as um it has been uh found recently that uh being gay is mostly genetics and as the species goes into overpopulation uh the proportion of gay people born is increasing so if the earth becomes really too too much populated well the mm. the new our descendants will be gay wow and then we'll then we'll a, all die it will be a golden gay time as you will say down, <laughs> down and up. there's a there's actually an ice cream in australia yeah, called golden gay time i know that was a joke Thanks for uh, explaining it, man. <laughs> so, I thought it was just an Australian thing, my bad. No problem. Yeah, so uh, to all listening at home or, or at work or in your car, I, I always say at home, but, you know, I know that a lot of people listen to the podcast on the time or, or at work. Yeah. You should go back to work if you're at work. Um, and uh, yeah, thanks for listening. Thanks for all my patrons on Patreon as well make this show possible your subscriptions are really appreciated and every little bit counts and thanks for uh, thanks to excuse me Riz the admin of Sheeppost about 5000 and Giles my res- my residency artist uh, for coming on this first episode of Mojito the game and um, yeah to everyone peace Sick.